Hello everybody, welcome back to the Fly BMW channel. So remember about uh, six months ago, I changed the spark plugs on my E70 X5. Um, these are the glow plugs, not the spark plugs, but the glow plugs. So about a week ago, I experienced a new issue on, on my diesel uh, X5. The problem was that there were, as you can see here in this video, you see the spots, the oil spots all over my parking lot you know at home there were some oil spots and uh, this was getting you know nastier and nastier so i took the car to the service they checked it and they said that you know there is an oil leak from uh, from the bottom of the engine after they lifted up the car they found out that there were two sources of these oil leaks first was the the ceiling the oil ceiling uh, which was sitting which is sitting in between the engine and the the gearbox that's the first place where it was leaking and the second one was the the gasket from the oil pan so what they did is they replaced both of these things and the labor cost there is massive because they have to they have to dis dismount the whole you know the, the front suspension as well as the gearbox so i paid around 250 dollars in total for the labor and for for these two parts but while working down there they uh, they found out that there were some um oil residue and oil leaks from the from the intake so they said that maybe the flaps you know in the down in the in intake uh, there are six six holes you know like the six cylinder holes and on top of those there are sitting six flaps i don't know how to translate this in into english but these flaps, the, the OEM flaps, they, um, they get older from time. Sometimes they even break and fall inside the cylinder, thus causing a huge, huge damage to the engine. So um, the problem with those is, is, is also when they get older, you know, they start to leak oil, you know, and this oil tends to go uh, from the very top until the very bottom of the engine. And they said that this might be causing this. There's one way to solve this problem. Because these engines are very old, what some people do is they remove these flaps altogether and fill them up with these covers. Okay, this is just, um, this replaces these flaps by removing them altogether. I bought this from the Russian website called VanusBMW.ru, but I know that um, you can find this on AliExpress or even Amazon. So this is readily available for the M57 diesel engines. So in this video, I'm not going to show how I'm removing all of this stuff because um, you can watch this in this video because I did it last summer. I will instead show you how I remove the flaps and put these things instead. That's one thing. Second thing, last winter I experienced a problem with cold starts. So um, I removed, well, last summer I replaced the glow plugs. I thought that it would help, but it didn't help because the good experience the experience shows that what people do is they replace not just the glow plugs but the glow uh the glow plug module so this is the the module for which is responsible for um, the heating up procedure you know and uh, with time it also gets old it all it also uh, goes uh, out of order so i will be replacing this which is sitting down there and I will be sit replacing. I will be you know, closing up the, the flaps, which are sitting down here. Okay, guys. So I have the intake completely removed from here. So uh, you see, this is where oil the leak was coming from. You know, from from all of these places where the flaps are sitting. And here is the the um, the module, the glow plug heating or control module. This one's going to be replaced tonight as well. So the intake is removed and it's sitting here. Here is the intake. These are the flaps that are going to be replaced. So I already removed this rod here, which was pushing them open, you see? So this thing is removed. Uh, this thing, I will keep it here because it's somehow connected to this part. And I'm gonna leave this here. So instead, I will just remove all of these flaps, you know, all these six flaps and cover with those things 
which I showed you. So here I unscrewed these Torx bolts here from these flaps. Okay, so let me just adjust the camera. You remove these things. These gaskets, by the way, profile gaskets, I replaced all of them when I was replacing the spark plugs last summer. And uh, yeah, you can watch how I did that in that video, the link to which is in the description. So just like that, this is how they look like. This is how you pull them out. Just look at them, how nasty, how dirty they were. Yucky. And because of that, they were leaking oil inside and outside the engine. So yeah, look how dirty this thing is. Okay guys, so I cleaned the underside of the intake. Okay, so it's, it's clean. There are no oil stains or anything. I used the uh, carb cleaner. So I just spray it and with a little brush, I just lift all the residue and remove it from, uh, from the intake. Okay, so here is the, the thingy which covers up the hole that's left from from removing the flaps. So let me just grease it so it snaps inside this housing. Uh, voila. Simple as that. Okay, gentlemen, here I'd like to show you how difficult it is to get the glue plug model here. So uh, you see there is this um, cooling pipes over here which obstruct the removal of the model which is sitting here. I removed the bolts, not the nuts, two nuts, one here and one over there, that hold this thing. So I'm, I'm trying to remove this, you see it's playing over here, it's not moving up or down, this thing is obstructing it. Ideally I would have to remove this pipe, but this will also throw out some cooling liquid, so I have to catch it somehow, and then after that I will be able to tuck the module out. So. Um, I don't know, I, I tried to, uh, some people are saying that they managed to do it, to remove the model from, without removing this one from the downside, from below, but I don't know, I can't figure it out, I, I can't figure out how they do it. So yeah, I'm still thinking whether I should remove this, and I don't want to just spill the, the coolant over here, so we'll see. I decided to pull the trigger and remove the, the cooling hose from the block. It's a, best, it's a bit mess here, so around half a liter of coolant ran out of here. I will now clean all the things, you know. Uh, all this mess, you know, is due to the leak from these flaps which I replaced. But now, the most important thing is I will now remove this bloody module which is sitting here. Okay, here it is. Here you are, you sucker. Yeah, and it's held by the two connectors over there, you see? So let me show you the new model. This is the new model, which is sitting over there. And there are two plugs, you know, which are holding it there. So I'm gonna just remove them and then I will replace this thing. Okay, so removing this was really pain in the ass. Especially I'm plugging this one here, this big socket from here, okay? And then removing this one is this one. It's not that difficult, but be careful with the contacts. You don't wanna, you don't wanna break anything. So yeah, this is the old one. It says it has still the BMW's original part number. All right, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same thing that was installed on the car from the factory. Considering the car is 200,000 kilometers, it may be originally from the factory. And this one is the one that I bought. Okay, this is the replacement. It's the Beru. 
This one is also Barrow, but it has the BMW logo here. This one doesn't. You see? So this is the old motherfucker. This is the new guy in town. So guys, uh, the, the job is done. The intake is on. Now we'll of course put a decorative cover. But aside from that, don't forget, if you are doing this, don't forget to top in some to top up some cooling liquid. So yeah, so far so good. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful and this was interesting. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Take care and bye.